we're going to go uh, through a complete audit for an HVAC contractor. They're located in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm going to show you exactly what I would do to market their business and help them increase their sales and keep their schedules full. My name is Phil Richter. I actually used to be the director of business development at a $3 million home service business. We help scale them to $5 million and ultimately sell to a private equity company. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the strategies that we implemented with them and other companies across the U.S. and Canada to help them grow their business. So let's get right into this video. So I don't know this company. I just found them. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I always start here and I'd recommend starting here with your business is look up HVAC Knoxville, Tennessee, or whatever your main service is in your main service area and see where you rank. There's really four parts to this equation. There's Google local service ads, which is one section we're going to look at. There's Google search ads, which is another section. And th this is a long rabbit hole that we could go down. Um, so we're not really going to talk about this. This is your local map pack. We'll talk a little bit about this. And then this is your onsite uh SEO, so your website rankings. We're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about some other strategies as well, uh, conversions and also retargeting customers. So the first thing that I always look at is HVAC, Knoxville, Tennessee. They are currently going up someone that has 512 reviews and 1.9, 1,900 reviews. And when we pull up their Google business profile, they currently only have 177 Google reviews. What this tells me is even if we were to turn on Google local service ads for them, they're not going to be shown because they don't have enough reviews so they can get more reviews but if this company's outpacing them it's going to be really hard to be shown here to get reviews the other thing i did was let me just check another location that they maybe they service other areas and they do have a section on their website for other service areas so i just pulled up for carnes and i wanted to see if if in carnes um they showed up and these same companies are still showing up there as well so they have pretty much the market cornered so Google local service ads for your business, I would do that and see where other companies are at from reviews. If you're not familiar with them, they're a pay per lead model. So what that means is you can set up, uh, you, you can go here and put in your zip code, how many leads do you want? And this company is going to be HVAC. So you could say for in this zip code for one HVAC lead is 25 to $38. Basically when someone clicks here and calls, that's when you pay 25 to $38. So I usually start here. This would be a low hanging fruit opportunity. The second thing is on their Google business profile. So if you notice here, they are actually located in Knoxville. They have a physical address in Knoxville. So location is a big part of your ranking. And so if you're not located in Knoxville, it's going to be really hard to show up in Knoxville unless there's no other businesses for them to show. So with that being said, you can see that these companies have 316, 397, 569. So I would focus on getting reviews. Um, to get above these because if you don't have enough reviews, you're not going to be shown here again. It's another reviews are the king of these two sections, but that's going to be a really important thing. Also to note, we want to make sure that their main category is HVAC contractor. So if you put something in there, like for example, let's say you change it with some HVAC contractors do, we would recommend doing this as a air conditioning contractor, heating contractor, if you're a seasonal type business. And that's one way that you can get a leg up on these keywords here. Instead of HVAC, it can show um, AC contractors. Let's see. So if you notice now it's showing as HVAC maintenance. And if you see this company is now showing air conditioning contractor and HVAC contractor air conditioning repair service. So this company has 274 of you. So it's showing a whole different set of uh, searches. So that's one trick that you can do to show up. Um, and they are listed as an HVAC contractor. So you could swap them in the seasons. We do this air conditioning, swap it, heating contractor, swap it. Cause really people are going to be searching for those keywords, not necessarily HVAC. So a uh, quick tip there. All right. So the next part is actually on their website. So this is some big areas of opportunity to help them from a rankings perspective. So on their website, they actually have their title tag, Knoxville heating and air HVAC repair and Knox County. All that sounds good description smith mechanical blah 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 in knoxville so they're hitting the core parts of what we want um the big glaring thing for me is their call to actions which we're going to go through in a sec but also under services they should have a drop down with all the services that they offer the reason is because when you have a services page like this and then you have all these random ones listed out it's not going to help you at all for seo it's just a brochure so ideally you would want a service drop down for all things ductless, all things preventive maintenance, all things for IAQ, all things for thermostats, basically listing out all the different services that you offer and having individual pages for them. So it's your URL.com slash ductless mini split systems. And it's all about that using keywords. The reason is because 
when you do like ductless air conditioning, Knoxville, Tennessee, first of all, they're nowhere to be found anywhere. But if you notice here, this URL that they're showing, look at the structure. It's a1fincham.com slash ductless mini split systems, ductly mini split systems, Knoxville. They're not going to show a generic HVAC website because there's people that have already built out these ductless mini split systems. And if we take a look here, it's built for Knoxville title tag, meta description, Knoxville, H1, Knoxville. This hits the three parts that we want from a uh, technical SEO perspective. And if you see the whole page is all about their ductless mini split systems for Knoxville. So that's ideally what this company would do to help them from a rankings perspective. The last thing that we look at is we're going to talk about these is their uh, conversion tools. And one thing that I look at is how many people have come to their website and how are they tracking? So our goal is to get website conversion rates at around 10%. What that means is if you get 30 people to your website, you should convert 10%. So three people into lead into leads. This is just saying from monthly SEO clicks, this is how many people they have coming to their site. So they probably have other traffic from direct traffic, people searching their name. Maybe they're running paid ads. Maybe they have people coming from social media. So let's say they have hundred people to their site, 10% conversion rate. They should get 10 leads. All the strategies that I just told you about would help drive traffic to their site organically and help them get more people to their website than they need to convert it. So what are some ways to convert leads into traffic? So the first thing is having a chat widget over here. The reason is because people might come here and they don't want to click around all this and dig through your site to try to find out if you do this or if you do it in this area. So having a chat widget allows them to answer that question. The other thing is this book appointment. I would recommend putting this in a different color. So like a big blue button here and then having a button here that says, you know, request an estimate, book your service, something like right here that makes it super simple. The last thing is on your mobile site, about 50, 60% of people are using mobile. If you notice, this is their homepage when someone comes to their mobile site. So they do have a contact us here, it's a slider. I would recommend putting a sticky header right up top here, a little box that says schedule service now, and then right below that, call us. So let's see, and this is a clickable button. So that's good, they have the call, the phone number clickable in the header. That's some small stuff, but then having a chat widget as well. Last thing, low hanging fruit. If you use a platform that does online scheduling, like they use Jobber for online appointment booking. If you use a platform like this, what I would recommend is on your Google business profile is connecting your Jobber or your online booking with your Google business profile. Most online bookings have a connection here, whether it's service Titan, Jobber, work is whatever. They can all connect right here to book now. The way this would look is like this. It would have a book online. When you click on it, it goes to your job or bookings, and then you can book directly through your Google business profile. The beauty of this is that it alleviates the step of people going to your website and falling off or not booking or whatever. It gets right to the point of the service that they want. So those will be some of the low hanging fruit things from uh, organic and conversions. So when we look at a marketing plan, we're looking at creating visibility. We talked about organic search online. We talked about running ads. We talked about on-site and off-site SEO. There's some other strategies on here like social media, driving traffic to your site building B2B relationships with property managers or realtors or uh, plumbers or electricians, those types of things. We could talk about those, but really the low hanging fruits for this video is SEO, running ads, getting them to your website, converting them into a lead. And then as the business, you should have metrics to go through here. We made videos about this before of how to automate this process, get them to a sale. And then this is a big area of opportunity for HVAC contractors in particular. And that is going to be retargeting your past customers. We had a company that we work with. They're a $3 million HVAC company. We helped them scale to $8 million in three years, and they ultimately sold to private equity. And the way they did it was through a monthly newsletter, text message marketing, and bringing people back into their funnel and cross-selling different services. So as this company has services up here, you can see they could cross-sell ductless systems. If someone has a basement or an office over the garage or that kind of stuff, they can cross-sell a bunch of IAQ different products. They could cross-sell different thermostats. Um, they may even get into um, other things that they don't list on here. Like sometimes HVAC companies get into tankless water heaters or other types of services. Um, obviously an HVAC replacement every you know 10 years or whatever. But there's so many different things that you can cross sell that a lot of times are missed out. And also people might come in for a ductless system, but they don't remember that you also do IAQ or thermostats or other things. So staying top of mind for non-contract customers is great. So as you can see, there's a lot of good things in retargeting, but uh, the goal of this video is to give you some actionable items for your website to help you convert more leads, get traffic to your site for HVAC business. If you're looking for help with this, we do this. We can sit down and go through your 
a marketing audit on your business. We can give you a roadmap for your business specifically, whether we work together or not. It's completely free marketing audit. I'll put a link down below. If not, it's all good. Hit like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.